everyone, my name is Daniel Reese. This is The Leatherverse, and today we're gonna be starting a brand new series called Two Minute Tool Tip. And while it's essentially what it sounds like, I don't wanna bring you traditional tools. There will be some of that, but I wanna bring you tools that you wouldn't ordinarily think of as being used in the leather hobby. Come here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So these are digital calipers, and it's gonna give you a digital readout right here. This is used to tighten it down, lock it off so that you uh, can hold a measurement. You can open it up. These are gonna measure the width of something. So if I wanna know how wide that is, that will tell me. The top part is gonna measure the opening of something. And both of those are very important. So here's why that's so useful. Not only do they do inches with fractions, it'll do inches with decimal points and millimeters, which makes finding the center point of something much, much easier. It's a whole lot easier to divide 22 millimeters than it is an inch and 16, 30 seconds. Well, I guess that wouldn't be too bad, but you get my point. So what if we're trying to find the center point on something like a belt? Come here, I'll show you how we do that. So we're gonna take our belt, our digital calipers, we're gonna open it up. It's gonna tell me that this is almost 24 millimeters. If I wanna find the center point of 24, well, that's pretty easy, that's 12. So we're gonna reduce this down to 12. So now this is set to the center point of my belt. I can come in with my wing dividers, make sure that's set to the exact same point. And then I can take my wing dividers and find the exact center of that belt. That's very useful if you're doing something like a basket stamp or something to that effect. What if we're talking about a belt buckle? Because they're not always the exact measurement that they're shown on the packaging, especially the less expensive ones. Well, this particular belt buckle is an inch. It's actually 0.97, so it's not exactly an inch. Well, what happens if I accidentally cut this at 1.03 inches? Now we've got some variation there between the buckle and the belt itself, and they're both more or less one inch. So how do we make sure that doesn't happen? Well, at 24 millimeters, I could cut it and it would be exactly what should go through there. But I wanna allow myself a little bit of variation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it down to 23. See if I can do this upside down. There we go, that's roughly 23 inches. Now I can get my strap cutter. I can drop those jaws on there and measure out exactly 23 millimeters, set my strap cutter to that. And now I know that the strap I cut is gonna be exactly what's needed for this specific belt buckle. Well, that's it. A pair of digital calipers can make your life so much easier. If you want one, we're gonna have a link in the description for you. They come in around $25. That'll give you the ability to order one off Amazon. In the meantime, if you found this helpful, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. It tells me that I'm doing a good job and also helps the video spread to other people. We're gonna try to have another video for you just like this next week. In the meantime, go make something amazing.